Question 49. We have a current carrying wire carrying a current I2 and a current carrying loop carrying a current I1. We have various locations A, B, C, and D. And the question is what is the net force on the loop? This uses a combination of right hand rules. So here we go. We get out our right hand. We're limber. Uh, we point our thumb in the direction of current 2, curl our fingers in the direction of the magnetic field, and above the wire the magnetic field is going to be into the board, and below the wire the magnetic field is going to be out of the board. Uh, really above the wire is all that we're concerned about, so I'm going to draw that. So you can see I've illustrated the magnetic field in blue, and we now use our right hand rule again. Point our fingers in the direction of the current. Let's actually just start with section A, B. So we point our fingers in the direction of the current, curl our fingers in the direction of the magnetic field, and our thumb points in the direction of the magnetic force felt on a segment A, B, which is going to be to your left. We can now do that with the other segments. B, C, the current is to your right. Curl our fingers in the direction of the magnetic field. Our thumb points up. The magnetic force on B, C is up. From a C to D, point our fingers in the direction of the current. Curl our fingers in the direction of the magnetic field. And our thumb points in the direction of the magnetic force, which is to the right. Lastly, point our fingers in the direction of the current on AD, curl our fingers in the direction of the magnetic field, and our thumb points down for the magnetic force on DA. Now, initially, you might look at this and think that all four forces are going to cancel out. Left and right will cancel out, up and down will cancel out. However, that is not the case. Now, they do cancel out left to right because they have the same magnitudes left and right. However, as you get farther and farther away from the current carrying wire, that magnetic field decreases. Therefore, the magnetic force on DA is going to be greater than the magnitude of the magnetic force on BC. Therefore, the net force is going to be toward the wire. The correct answer is A.